Welcome to Irish Illustrated at irishillustrated.com. I'm Kevin Sinclair, and uh, earlier this week, Chancey Stuckey, as soon as he was named wide receivers coach officially uh, at Notre Dame, he stopped by Del Valley uh, High School in Texas to check in on top 100 wide receiver Braylon James. He spent time with Bobby Acosta, who I spoke with uh, just days ago. Um, so I took a longer look at Braylon James' uh, highlight film. I found some of his game films, uh, dug through that, uh, and here's what I found. So we'll take a look at James here, a top 100 wide receiver. And first, uh, it starts with his vertical game. This is a guy who can stretch the field versus some of the very best programs like, you know, Lake Travis and those sorts of programs down in Texas. Um, he was, sort of shows a, a an ability to consistently get behind the defense, um, can beat press coverage, um, you know, zone coverage, find ways uh, to stretch the field, get open downfield um, and hit home runs for his offense. Uh, and, of course, that opens up uh, more aspects of his game. But, again, we'll just have a look at a, a few of these uh, types of plays where he just beats coverage deep downfield, um, has a lot of range with good size and length, um, and he's a big target deeper downfield. And then in sort of contested ball situations, um, can go up and get it, certainly good good ball skills uh, in this receiver. And then this also opens up uh, comeback routes in the like, as you can see here, 12-yard comeback. Usually when you have a receiver who runs really good verticals as a vertical threat, um, that sort of opens up those hitches, comebacks, uh, and quick outs as well uh, as defensive backs um, are sort of worried about that deep threat. Um, but he does like a whole lot more than that. He's also really dangerous over the middle of the field, as you can see here. Really good poise over the middle of the field and in traffic and making plays good after the catch as well. Um, shows pretty good toughness. Uh, but again, he can just sort of uh, sit underneath uh, and provide that big target, uh, pretty sure-handed receiver. And again, it all starts with that vertical speed and, and having that threat opens up so much more. Um, they do some good stuff with him on tunnel screens and the like, um, other types of, of ways of getting the ball behind or sort of on the line of scrimmage. Um, and he made a lot of plays that way. But again, here he is over the middle of the field. Um, so a true kind of versatile threat as a receiver. Again, those vertical routes, comebacks and hitches. He's good over the middle of the field. Um, very good on these tunnel screens and, and um, other ways of getting the, getting him the ball around the line of scrimmage or behind the line of scrimmage. Um, really a wide variety of uh, skills here. And you're going to see that again here, another tunnel screen, getting him the ball. Um, does a good job of running through traffic, you know, running the alley. Um, impressive stuff from James. And then, of course, he's... Also on kick returns, they'll get him in the backfield here on these swing routes. Does a good job of breaking tackles and working his way upfield. Uh, this was an offense that struggled versus, again, a very tough um, a schedule that they played. Uh, but he was a real bright spot within that offense, snapping off plays uh, like this that we just saw. Now, watching some of his kick return ability, um, just a lot to like here. You know, I remember seeing Kevin Austin making these kinds of plays in high school. Um, I don't think they're super comparable, uh, Austin and James, but I do think some of the, the, the way he uh, moves with the ball in his hands in the open field, uh, a little bit reminiscent of, reminiscent of Austin in that way, um, you know, creative, uh, knows how to sort of create space. And then when he finds a seam or he finds, you know, an open sideline, um, he can take it to the house. So definitely some good speed in this youngster. Uh, and again, I, I want to emphasize just how good a competition he's playing. Uh, some of the very best of the best in the state of Texas. You know, we know about Carnell Tate and Kyler Casper and Jalen Brown and these others, but Notre Dame needs to find, you know, a good variety of four-star wide receivers uh, to sort of get after and five-star, of course, as they look to fill a deep and talented wide receiver class in 2023. And Braylon James is certainly one of the top receivers in that top 100 column who also has uh, top end academics so we'll be keeping an eye on him but that's it for me thanks for tuning into irish illustrated at irishillustrated.com i'm kevin sinclair